and welcome back to my youtube channel so i'm just a really bad liar honestly because i always say that i'm here to stay and then i leave again so even though i posted i think three times this year it's still not like what i was envisioning myself for this year but honestly i say i'm gonna film and then the day comes and then it doesn't happen because i was like okay Monday, I have an early class, meaning I'll get home early, meaning I have time to do a video. And I like sat down and was talking to my friend and I was like, I'm gonna film it. The sun is still setting late until it starts changing again, which is going too soon when the fall hits, but I need to use this opportunity to film the video. Okay, so I think we should just get started or else the sun's gonna go down and it's gonna be very bad lighting. So don't forget to follow me on all my social media. Um, but yeah, I don't really post on my Instagram, but I do post a lot of my stories. Um, you can follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, um, TikTok, and um, my Depop. I sell some clothes there. Sometimes they're like very my style and sometimes they're just clothes that I haven't worn in a very long time. But yeah, you can follow me on all those platforms and that's where you guys can keep up with me the most. So the first things I'm going to start off with are shoes, um, which I would never thought I would say. I've always claimed to not really be much of a shoe person, but I would consider otherwise by looking at my closet i have quite a selection of shoes and they're all kind of different so yeah let's just get started with the shoes okay so the first pair of shoes you guys know i've talked about these i think already in a couple of videos but they're my boots i love them and i love that I just never really thought that I would consider boots an essential part to like what my style is but thankfully to Grace Foley she wears these and she styles them and I'm like wait a minute that's literally my style right there I don't know what I'm doing and I love them I wore them a lot during winter last year when I bought them for my birthday and I wear them with like tights or I would wear yeah mostly tights and skirts um, I love wearing them with skirts. I wore these to a Big Time Rush concert, um, and I don't know, something about it just was really cute. I actually got a lot of compliments at that concert because they were like, oh my gosh, I love your shirt and the skirt with the boots. And I was like, thank you. But boots with skirts, yeah, that is pretty, like, something I just didn't think. I would consider a part of my style, but it really works really well. Just look for black long boots like these, you can find them and they'll work with anything. Of course, the famous Mary Janes that I got in 2021 and I wore them to Lotta Ray. I'll have to admit, I don't wear these as much as I would like. I feel like they're just so out there that I just don't know when to wear them. Um, but they do the job when needed so they're super cute and i'm 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 gonna hold on to these okay because i've actually sold a couple of shoes before from my closet that i just got and never wore because i just was like i might as well get the money back but these i just don't think i'll ever sell them because i feel like i just might need them one day i wore i did wear them to like weddings back in 2021 but i just haven't had the opportunity again to do so but they're gorgeous. If I'm feeling crazy this fall or winter, maybe I'll try to style them for something. Um, I would say for my birthday, because my birthday is in October, but I already have a birthday outfit planned with the boots, so yeah. But these are just essential. Macy's Loki a go-to place for me. I always find the cutest shoes there that like I never thought I needed. I went to Mexico, as you guys know, and la, um, 2022, I got these fake repertoire, repertoire, I don't know how to say it, the ballet flats. I showed you guys them in a video. I went back to the same store and I found these, which are just these cute loafers, which I'm super excited to wear this fall. Um, 
Of course the bow is just what, it's what sold it to me, honestly, at the end of the day. I was like, okay, I'm getting these. I'm bringing back these home. Okay, I got these flats last year at DSW and like a sales clearance rack. Um, they're very dirty, but as I said, they do the job. I wore these a lot. I still do to this day when I want just a little bit of touch of my style when I'm wearing like a casual outfit. You guys probably see me post about them. They're the cutest ever. I saw a lot of TikTokers that I followed get them and I was like, I just, I just need to get them. I need, they're just perfect. And they're the cutest things ever. I wear these all the time with skirts or pants. They just do the job. They're super cute. Um, they did hurt at first, but honestly, they don't really hurt anymore. So now I'm going to start showing like two dresses and some skirts. So this dress has been kind of on my wish list because of Grace Foley. She styled this dress with like a white blouse under, tights, and the boots. And I was like, okay, I want that, but I couldn't find it online. But someone was selling it on Depop, which I've been too obsessed with Depop because that's where I find kind of most of my clothes besides H&M now. Um, but it's from Zara and it had the tags and it was cheaper than what the original price was. It's this like cardigan type dress, I guess you could call it. It has like pockets and buttons. Um, yeah, so you can wear like a dress. I'm sure that's what it was made for initially, but I guess you could just wear it as a cardigan. I'm just gonna leave it line up with tights and the boots and like a white blouse under, I think would be super cute. For summer, I also got this off of Depop. As you guys know, I went to Cancun and I was looking for dresses that I could wear at the beach for like when we go out to dinner that I felt like were summery, but also fit what my style is per se. Okay, sorry. I'm going to move myself because I feel like I was, it was really dark. It's just the curtains, but I found this on Depop and it's super cute and I wore it often at the beach it's just super cute it's this dress it has spaghetti straps and it's like this obviously what sold to me was this right here which like you can untie it but i just tie it into a bow which i feel like is you know if there's a bow on it then i'll buy it most likely and it's black and i feel like a real big trend in summer dresses is like that like crisp cut like dress where it's like kind of like has a little triangles at the end and this actually had that which i feel like gave that summer vibe but also you know the bow is very me and it's black so it kind of worked for what i needed next is the skirts i have this cute skirt that i wore a lot last year it's the day from the brand j.ing it's this like Miu Miu ripoff skirt basically, but it's so cute. I bought it at the end of 2021 and I never wore it until 2022, like in the winter. Like had a lot of cute outfits with this. Super cute. The bows obviously is what sold it to me because I was like, <gasps> originally I found this like in a beige color, but I really wanted black, but for some reason it wasn't on the website for like a while and then it came back. So I had to get it as soon as I could. And then the last one is this pleated score, score. I don't know how you say it, but I saw this on Zara and I saw a lot of girls wearing it, but I have really long legs, I feel like. And every time I wear a skirt, it just looks shorter on me than it does on like the model or someone else. I was really iffy about it at first, but honestly, I love this skirt a lot and I'm really glad I started getting out of my shell more and I like started wearing it more. Um, I brought this to Cancun and never wore it because I thought it was too short, but um, I decided to wear it with this like spaghetti strap and my hair. Like, I don't know. I really like the way it looks, especially when I wear my um, Steve Madden ballet pumps. It's this, it's like this pleated thing. I know it looks super short, but it's a score. It has like the shorts under. It's super cute though. I love it. Um, something about me is like, I don't really participate in too much of the trends, but sometimes I find a trend that I like every now and then, and I'll try to like find 
the version of the trend in my style or like somewhere that fits my style like for example like clog clips like i feel like this fits my style so like maxi skirts i wouldn't know if you consider a maxi skirt but some people were like very long silk skirts and i found this one on depop and it's from victoria's secret and it's not that see-through but i'm not sure if i could wear this out i think if i make it work it can happen but it's this very beautiful pink silk skirt it has like a little bit of lace detailings my goal with this year was to get more pink because i claim pink is my favorite color but then all i wear is black so i need to live up to that standard it's just so hard for me to find the perfect pink i mentioned this in my january video but it truly is um i'm very very specific about pink so this though is the perfect pink and it's beautiful i don't really know how to make this more ironed out i think you have to steam it or get a steamer i'm not sure because the fabric is just very delicate when it comes to like water and stuff like that but it's so cute and i feel like this could work so well in the spring um i tried it on with this shirt that i think is in the wash right now okay the next part of the video i will be showing you like my favorite summer tops i guess you consider these um first i don't wear this as much i am selling this on my depop i don't know if that's cringy for me to promote this but um it's super cute i just haven't worn it since 2021 um, when I wear it now, I'm not, I don't love it as much as I did. I'm not saying it's not cute in general. I just don't love how I style it anymore or how it looks on me per se, but it's such a cute find. So go on my Depop. A lot of the things I'm selling right now are super, super cheap because I put a lot of discounts on them because I'm just trying to get rid of clothes, but also get some cash back. So this is it. You know, I wore this to Lottery, which is such an iconic moment i mean if no one ends up buying it i can hopefully one day re-wear it and feel like i did before it's just this bandeau bow top and i found this at forever 21 in the clearance section and i think it's just so cute um they have this it's obviously super extra but i would wear it for like an extra event like going to lottery for my birthday the next is of course these like tweed tops. Zara, super cute. I have yet failed to style this. I don't know how to wear it necessarily. Yeah, I don't know how to style this. Let me know how I should style this. These type of tweed tops are very important for the summertime to still fit like my criteria, like my style. And I have this one, which I did wear on New Year's actually. Super cute, it has this like corset material. This one's from H&M. Then, my other summer tops, I would say, is of course my favorite Crybaby top. I love Crybaby, but I hate how pricey their stuff is. I really wanted their Crybaby, I think it was like a princess robe it was called. It, it was so cute, but it's not sold anymore. So maybe I'll find it on Depop one day. But I found this on Depop, which in 2020, since I couldn't afford Crybaby and Shan was like something that I used a lot. I bought like a dupe of it, but shout out to Depop, honestly, because then I found it for way cheaper. And this also had the tags. You know, I find a lot of things with tags for a cheaper price. So that's why I love Depop, but it's super cute. They had one in pink, which I haven't even found on Depop yet, but they stopped selling that one. But this one's such a cute top. I don't wear it as much as I did, but I still wear it every now and then. It's perfect to wear with jeans, with skirts. Super cute. It's just such a beautiful top. I also got this on Depop. This, this tank top has this like white detailing. Of course, what sold it to me was this mini bow. The person that listed this said it was from JCPenney. So if you guys want to try to find it, it's from the brand Worthington. But this also is such like an essential top to me. I wore this a lot during the summertime because it's super cute. I wore this in my what's in my purse video. And then I have the one I'm wearing right now, which I bought off of Depop, which I feel like I'm just being sponsored by Depop when really I'm not. But 
it's just this top. I'll do like a better zoom in right here of me holding it up. But I recently got this and I feel like it's really cute. I wear it with jeans and my flats. This I got last year. You guys saw me wear this in my Christmas vlog. And this was such a cute find and I'm excited to wear it again this winter. But it's just this black like kind of knitted sweater. But of course, can't just be super plain. I have to add a huge bow in the back. This is like the cutest thing I found last year and I was so excited to find it. And it was like during Black Friday, so of course I got it. This is super cute with shorts and tights and the boots. That was my go-to look last winter. Okay, I am almost done with this video. I, I'm not even sure if people genuinely like my videos or if they're just being nice. Cause sometimes I watch it back and I'm like, no one's gonna wanna watch this. So hopefully it's not that bad, but I'm almost done. All I have left are my favorite coats and accessories. So for coats, I have quite a lot actually. I love a big coat statement because I feel like you don't have to do much with the rest of the outfit, especially during the winter time because it keeps you warm. And then it still looks really cute and fashionable. I have this one, which is this Zara one I got when I went to LA for my birthday in 2021. So cute. Everything about it is just gorgeous. This is the perfect coat I bring on when I'm wearing a very simple top and like a plain black skirt, plain tights. Throw on my boots, put this on, and I feel like I did the most with the outfit because this is just extra itself. This one is my go-to for when it's raining because of the material. This one's from H&M, super cute. I wear this with jeans, um, skirts, whatever. Sorry if the lighting looks off. I feel like when I go into different lightings, it does that, but super cute. I can take this off if I want to. I have this one, which I mentioned in my New Year's haul that I just didn't like the way I looked in it for my birthday. I, like I said, I mentioned that I had like a specific outfit planned and then my acne was just really bad that day. I don't know what happened, but like the week prior I went to the fair and I like, I think I picked up my acne too much. Like there were just like cuts and they just weren't healing and I just hated everything about it. But I failed to style this or just to like myself in it. So we're gonna try it on again this year and see if I like it, but I really hope so. I need more pink in my wardrobe. And this is like one of the very few things that I have. Um, something else that I got this year, I follow this TikToker name. I don't know her name, I think her name's Hannah. I'm not sure the rest of her TikTok name, but she wears a lot of pink. I wear a lot of black, she wears a lot of pink. Um, I would say that I have a similar enough style to her that like I follow her and I see the pink items that she has and I like try to see where she got them because the pinks that she usually owns are the pinks that I, that I want. Um, and I saw her wear this like outfit that she had like leggings and this extra pink fur jacket. And I was like, why is that so cute? That's what I want. I want to be extra, but still comfortable. And she bought it from this store called Francesca's, which we do have here, like where I live, but went online, super pricey. And then I like, like a couple months later, I was like, you know what? I want to check it again. And it was on sale. So I got it and I'm very excited to wear it this summer. I, not this summer, I'm excited to wear it this winter. So extra, I love it. It's soft, the perfect pink. Another thing about it that sold it to me was the fact that it's like cropped. As you could tell from all the rest of the coats that I had, they're very long and they cover the outfit. And I wanted a jacket that was like cropped where it didn't cover the rest of the outfit. Um, I had a problem with this though, because I thought I ordered it when I saw it was on sale, but I never officially ordered it. So it was selling out. So I had to get a size small, but I make it work. It's not as comfortable as I would like it to be because 
It doesn't fit necessarily perfect, but it still does the job. Yeah, super extra, but she was wearing it with leggings. And I was like, why do I kind of want to wear that one day? Like this extra coat and then just some leggings or something. I don't know. And the last coat I thrifted, I showed you guys. This coat is such a beautiful coat and I'm so excited that I was able to thrift it because it was super cheap. I love this blazer so much. I think it's the buttons and the collar. I don't know, cause I feel like I could just wear like a plain tank top under. So I'm not like sweating under there. Cause you know, October is not always cold enough to wear this stuff, but it's so cute. I love this so much and I'm really happy that I thrifted it because I don't know if I could ever find something like this again, like at $7. Last but not least, I have my accessories, of course. I don't know if you consider phone cases an accessory, but I have this poodle case from Wildflower, which I was kind of hoping they would want to collaborate with me because they have cute cases. The first ever case I've ever bought from them was this one, which is super iconic, which I think I'll put it back on when it hits Christmas time because of the Nutcracker. But I didn't think they would top this. And they kind of did. Um, as for bags, you guys know that my iconic what's in my purse bag. I still wear this purse every single time. I kind of replaced it for the while with this other thing I'll show you, but this is still my go-to purse. Nothing will top this. It just really puts an outfit into perspective because it just fits with what I'm trying to serve because of the bow. And I feel like it just goes with every like outfit, like a very extra outfit or a very plain Jane one like this. Um, but I did kind of retire it for a bit because the lottery tote bag was up for sale again. So I got it, which I would consider this my summer bag. I bring it to school because right now I don't have a backpack. I used to have this tote backpack. Um, not gonna use it anymore because it hurts when I bring my laptop to school or anything more than just like two notebooks. So I bring this because I take badminton because all I really need is like water and like maybe a portable charger or something. It's so cute. I don't necessarily own a lot of green like this in my wardrobe, but because of Lotto Ray, it just works with the pink and the black. I have like three things in my room that look like this and it's the Lotto Ray bag that came with my macaroons and my macaroon box and not the tote bag. It is so cute. Of course, bows, so cute, especially when I put my hair up. If my hair is up and I don't have a bow in it, I feel like I just look too boyish. So bows or just any type of ribbon for that case. Um, I got this off of Amazon. It's this like Chanel flower, or like it's supposed to be the Chanel flower. I wore this. All I did, since it's like a pen, I would pin it onto this ribbon and then tie in the back of anything I was using. So cute. And I feel like it's very summery. I don't know why, but like this flower, it's just a very summer thing to wear. And then of course, braids, but this one's just a two-in-one as the bow. You guys know I got this for Christmas. My dad got it for me. Let's see if I could style it right now because I have yet to wear it since when I got it. Yeah. Finales, of course, are any type of black rounded sunglasses. My dream sunglasses are the one from Celine. I saw Avalyn get them. And I was like, wait, those are kind of like the perfect sunglasses, but I don't really believe in spending too much money for sunglasses, especially because I barely wear these, so. Yeah, I got these at H&M. The claw clip that I would use is this beautiful bow one, which sadly broke when I went to Mexico, but it's still cute. That's it for the end of the video. Hope that wasn't too long and boring, um, but I hope you guys get a gist of what I think are like the necessities for my style or maybe like ideas that you didn't think that would fit with the style. Um, I would say my style is pretty basic in the sense of it's very self-explanatory, like there's no 
crazy pieces that I would say maybe for some people that aren't this like girly um I feel like they're all pretty reasonable and very cute yeah the only other thing I would add that I didn't show are like tights which you could just get from Target any pattern tights will do you guys for remaining patient when it comes to me lagging on filming I know a lot of people are still subscribed if you guys enjoyed this don't forget to like and subscribe like i said and follow me on my social medias to keep up with me when i stop posting again okay bye girlies